Hi students, I hope all are safe and fine. Today we are going to discuss one of the important topic from our nursing that is method of IV administration. Before going to see, see this topic, we see some introduction regarding method of IV administration. IV administration is not only one method of drug administration, among all the methods of drug, drug administration, it is one of the method to administer the drug in the patient. So this type of drug administration is very important because when patient is needed to flush the fluids into the body, that time rapidly drug administration is needed. So at this time, this one, it is a method is very useful and sometimes the same patient needs slow and constant administration of medication. At this time, this method of IV drug administration or method of IV administration is very, very useful. And after introduction, what is IV administration? IV administration is nothing but intravenous drug administration. In the name itself, it is there in, into the vein. Here what we will do is, we will prick the needle into the vein of the patient and we will administer the drugs or fluids which is very important for the patient through that needle. This is called IV administration. And next one, what is the main purpose of this method of IV administration? IV administration is very useful in three purpose that is first one is when the fluid is lost from the body to replace that lost fluid that IV administration is useful and in the same way to maintain the wanted fluid which is essential for the body during this time this method of administration is very important and in the same way patient needs some drugs at the uh, dosage and the frequency that means morning time afternoon time evening time so at this time to administer these drugs, we use this type of IV administration. And next one, we use different types of uh, um, uh, gauges to administer the drugs. The first one is 14th gauge is orange color, 16th gauge is gray color, 18th gauge is, gauge is green color, 20 gauge is pink color, 22 gauge is yellow color, 22, 3, 24 gauge is uh, purple color. So these are the different types of gauges which we use to administer the drug into the patient body. According to the need, the drug is administered according to the gauge of the needle. For example, a rapid fluid is lost from the body, at that time we use uh, 14th gauge, that is grey color gauge. So it, uh, it is a very uh, thick in nature and a lot of fluid we can administer through this cannula. So this is one type and uh, for pediatric use we use yellow cannula and uh, purple color gauges and uh, during uh, operation we use green color cannula so these are the different types of gauges which we use and see in the hospital for the patient purpose and the methods of IV administration there are different types of methods of administration that depends upon according to the patient need among this the first one is hypodermic needle and the second one is peripheral cannula and the third one is central lines and the last one is tunnel cannula. So in, among these the first one is peripheral uh, cannula. Peripheral cannula is nothing but what we are going to see, what we are seeing in the hospital that we keep to the patient hand or in the when, when there is a vein bulge is there we will ad, keep the peripheral cannulas for the administering the lost fluids and in the same way to administer the drugs. And next one is hypodermic needle. Hypodermic needle is nothing but we used to administer IM injections and the insulin injections so through the skin that is called hypodermic needles and third one is central lines central lines is nothing but we, if you see that in the area of jugular vein and in the same way femoral artery we administer this central lines for constant maintenance of fluid and in the nutritional therapy for the patient and the last one is tunnel lines tunnel lines is mainly used for to drain the blood which is secreted during operation theater in the operation of uh, cardiothoracic. So this is some of the methods which we use for administering the drugs. So by this, uh, we have seen today about one of the important method of drug, drug administration that is method of IV drug administration. In this, we have seen some introduction and what is IV administration and what is the purpose and site of IV administration cannula is a median cubital place or where the patient is having dominant bulging of vein, there we can use this uh, site and in the same way we have seen different types of color codings and gauges what we use in the hospital for uh, uh, cannulas and for the patient purpose and in the same way different types of methods we use in the hospital for IV administration that is 
hypodermic needles, peripheral cannulas, and central lines, and last one is tunneled lines. Tunneled lines means tunnel means it is a, a pipe-like way we can deliver so much of water if you see in the dams so in the same way tunnel line means we can deliver uh, vigorous and more quantity of fluids in the patient body so by this i hope you understand the topic take care be safe thank you